Welcome again to ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial. In this series, we are learning about ASP.NET Core MVC. And if you have seen my previous videos, then we have learned about model and controllers. In this video, we will learn about view in ASP.NET Core MVC. So let's start and let's have a look what all we will learn in this video. In this video, we will learn what is a view, what is the role of view. So basically, why should we use view in a particular application? Then we will learn how can we add a new view into the application. Where are views placed in application? Just like we are putting all the controllers inside controllers folder, we are putting all the models inside models folder. In the same hierarchy, we will learn where all these views are placed inside the application. It means what folder structure is used for views in ASP.NET Core MEC application. We will also learn how can we return a view from action method. First of all, let's start from what is view. A view is a file with .cshtml extension. I am assuming that I am using c programming language for the development of my current application. That is why I am using cshtml. And if we are using c programming language for the development of ASP.NET Core MEC application, then there is a special file into the application the extension of that file is cshtml and that file is called as view the meaning of cshtml is if you divide this word into two parts then cs means c sharp which is the programming language then we have html hypertext markup language and i assume all of you are already know that html is used onto the page that is rendered into the browser of the client so the extension of view file is cshtml it means the view file will contain some c sharp code and some html code a view is the combination of a programming language example c sharp or vb or f sharp and html so this is what I have written in the second line. Now let's see. Suppose instead of using C sharp, I am using some other programming language. Suppose I am using VB for the development of ASP.NET Core MEC application. Then the extension of this view file will be VBHTML. It will not be CSHTML, rather it will be VBHTML. Okay. So basically, these extensions depend on the programming language that you are using into the application. From these three lines, one thing is clear that view is only a file with this extension and it has code of C sharp and HTML. Views are generally written from action method. Okay, so let's understand this line. Suppose we are sending a request from browser to our ASP.NET Core MEC application. Then what happens? First of all, that request goes to HTTP pipeline. Then directly it goes to controller and inside the controller, the request goes directly to an action method so since the request will go to an action method so it means to maintain the flow of the application we must return the view from action method so inside the action method we will write some code to return this view so that we can see some output onto the browser we use view result return type to return a view from action method so since you are returning something special from your action method so we cannot use a normal return type just like in the previous example we were returning an class or some string so we were using the name of that class or string but since now we have to return view from that action method so the return type of that particular action method will be view result now let's understand what is the role of a view why should we use view into the application a view in ASP.NET Core MEC application is responsible for UI that is application data presentation. So basically views are responsible for whatever you see on the browser of a particular client. We display information about the website on browsers using views. Suppose you need to display the list of all the books that we have into the store. Then we can display the list onto the browser by using views. A user generally performs all the actions on a view. For example, click on a button, form, list, and other UI elements. What does this mean? Suppose you need to add a new book for the bookstore. So what will you do? First of all, you will enter the URL of that particular page into the browser. 
then you will see a beautiful page will be there and that page will have some information for the new book we can say that it will have a new form and in that form we have to fill some details then we will click on the button so it means we are performing some actions on that particular page and the meaning of this line is same a user generally interacts with the views whenever he see the application into the browser when we deploy an ASP.NET Core MVG application on server, then user do not have any idea about the controllers or models. He can only see views inside his browser. So views are responsible for UI, that is data presentation. I assume that we have some basic knowledge about the views at this point. Now suppose I need to add new view into the application. How can I add a new view into the application? And before adding a new view into the application, we must know where can we add the view into the application. Should we create a new class library project or can we create a new folder or what is the best place to create views into the application. So by default views are available inside views folder at the root level of the project. So inside the root level of the project we have one folder views and all the views of the application are placed inside that views folder. Usually views are grouped into folder named with applications controller. Okay, what does it mean? Since inside a web application we have several pages. What does it mean? Let's take an example of the bookstore application. Inside the bookstore application we will have several pages. For example, first we will have a home page and that home page will display some basic details about this application. Then we will have another page which will display the list of all the books that we have into the store. Third one might be to search the books as per the need of the client. Fourth one might be add a new book, view the details of book. These are few examples of the pages that we might have into the application. The result is that inside one application we will have multiple views and how we will manage those views. So basically we will group all those views as per their actions and we put them inside one folder and what will be the name of the folder the name of that folder will be equal to the name of the controller if all these things are confusing you right now then do not worry we will learn all these things into the practical way but for now just focus what i am trying to tell you i'm just trying to teach you that inside one asp.net core mvc application we have loads of views managing all those views is not an easy task so for the better architecture of the application we generally group all those views into some parts and we placed all those groups in a particular folder we will see the details of the folder in upcoming slides generally views are grouped based on future if you have seen my previous video about the controllers in this tutorial in that video we have created one book controller class and inside that book controller class we have created few actions just like get all books add a new book edit books just like this so in the same manner we will create views corresponding to each action method and similarly since all the actions are placed inside one controller so we will put all the corresponding views inside one folder that's it it is very simple now let's understand the location of views into the application so this is how the general hierarchy of the view looks like into the application at the root level we have one folder which is called as views inside this views folder we have some subfolder and the name of those folders are equal to the name of the controller so suppose inside my current application i have only two controller first one is home controller second one is book controller so since the name of those controllers are home and book so we have created two folders over here first one is home and second one is book all the views which are related to home controller are placed inside home folder and all the views which are related to book controller those are placed inside book folder so this is very basic hierarchy of the views that we can use into ASP.NET Core MVC application now let's learn all these things in real time application here we are back to our bookstore application okay inside this bookstore application we have two controllers first one is book controller and second one is home controller 
देर आर मल्टीपल वेज टू एड अ व्यू इन टू द एप्लीकेशन बट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम द वेरी बेसिक वन इन द प्रीवियस साइड ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई टोल्ड यू दैट वी कैन क्रिएट वन व्यूज फोल्डर ऑन टू द रूट लेवल ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन सो लेट्स डू दैट राइट नाउ यू कैन सी दैट वी डू नॉट हैव एनी व्यूज फोल्डर इन टू आर एप्लीकेशन लेट्स डू दैट okay so we have created one folder with name views then inside this views folder we have some sub folders what sub folders so since we have two controllers so we will add two folders inside this views folder first let's do all these things for the first controller which is home controller so inside this views folder i will create one more folder with name of home and why we are doing all these sub folders this is just to manage all the views if we need to find a view which is related to this home controller then simply i can go to the home folder and i can find out the related view that's it there is no more logic behind this view hierarchy and inside this home folder i can create my views suppose i want to create one view for this index action method but before creating a view let's understand what is the purpose of creating a view for this particular index action method when we run this application and hit this index action method then you see then we can see only one string on the browser but if instead of displaying this simple string i want to display a beautiful html page then how can we do that that is possible by using views so instead of using this string i want to display a beautiful html ui that is why we are going to add a new view for this particular action method let's do that to add a new view you can right click on this folder then go to add and then simply choose this view option then you have to enter the name of your view so suppose for now i'm writing index because the name of the action method is index similarly i am putting the name of the view also index then we have few more options while creating views let's ignore all of them for now because we do not know anything about these other options so let's leave all the things default so i'm going to put this one default there is no model class we don't know what about partial views leave it use a layout page uncheck this checkbox as well because we don't know what is layout page as of now so what we have done we have simply created one file with name of index and let's click on this add button so let's see what all we got here we can see we have one new file index.cshtml just focus on the extension of this file the extension is cshtml okay and what all we got over here here on top of this file we got some code let's ignore this code as well for now we will understand the significance of this code in the upcoming video but for now just ignore this code and let's focus on this one here you can see we have the basic structure of html code so we have just the doc type of the html then we have html tag head and the body inside this head we have the meta then the title and then inside this body we can write our html page suppose i'm writing here in h1 tag welcome to book store application okay now let's go back to the home controller and if you see inside this action method we are still returning the string now instead of returning a string we have to return a view and to return a view we have to change this return type in the previous slide i told you that the return type should be view result okay so first we have to update this return type then instead of returning this web gentle we have to use a new method which is called as view and if the name of your view is equal to the name of your action method then there is no need to do anything else it will simply work by only using this view method and since in our case the name of the view is index which is equal to the name of action method so we do not have to do anything else but in case the name of your view is some different from the name of your action method then here you have to pass the name of your view let's see the details of this view method so right click on this one and choose go to definition if it is blank it assume the name of the view is equal to the name of action method if it is not equal then you can pass the name of your view then we have view name and the model 
so if you need to pass some data to your view then we can use this one you can define the name of your view and then you can pass the model or if the name of your view is equal to the name of action method and still you want to pass some data to it then you can simply pass the object of model inside this view method if this is confusing you for now ignore this one just focus on simply one concept that we have to return a view and to return a view from this action method what we have done we have simply used this view method now let's run this application by pressing f5 or you can simply click on this button so here you can see we got the result on the default route of this application and the default route is home controller and the index action method now you can see instead of that simple string now we have some other code now let's see what are the details inside this page so here you can see we have the same structure that we had defined into our index html so this is the html then we have first we have the doc type then we have html tag head meta title body and the h1 tag that we have defined into our view so by designing the page over here by simply using html and css you can manage this page as per your application need let's put some more code over here suppose now in p tag i want to write some code this is again let's press control f5 this time now you can see first we have this h1 title and inside this h1 title we have second line which is p tag a paragraph and by using this approach by using html other tags and css you can define your page as per your application need the purpose of this concept is to reuse a view into the application and that we are doing right now so this was the first way to add a new view into the application now let's understand the second way let's create one more action method inside this home controller let's copy this action method and simply paste change the name of this action method about us Okay, suppose I need to create one view for this about us action method. So there are two ways. Either I can simply right click on this home folder and then I can add a new view. Or there is one more way. You can simply right click on this action method. So inside this place you can click anywhere. You can click right click and then you can simply choose add view. Let's try one more time. Click anywhere and simply use add view option. So this time you can see we got the name automatically since we are creating the view for about us so it means about us is filled automatically and the rest all things are default we do not have any information about them simply let's click on the add button now you can see we got the new page for about us we can also define the setting over here just like and that's it this is how we can add the new view into the application so this was all about the home controller now let's focus on the book controller why we are going to focus on this book controller because we do not have any book folder under this views folder suppose i want to create a new view for this get all books action method how can we do that i can simply right click on this one and choose add view so this is the name of the view and let's click on the add button so this time you can see a new folder with name book has been created inside this views folder and inside that new book folder the new view has been created so here is the view file get all book we can define the html code over here all book list we will manage the list in some upcoming video but for now just focus how can we add a new view for this particular action method now let's see how can we perform some actions on these views so suppose i want to create a new button okay now let's go back to the book controller and since we have created new view for this action method and if you want to return the view so instead of using this list book model return type we have to use view result return type let's make some changes in this action method let's store this get all books data in this data variable and let's return the view although this data is not of any use right now but in future we will use this data for now you can either comment it or you can leave it like this there is no issue with that and now let's run the application 
here you can see we have the home page now let's switch to the new about us page so here we can write home about us press enter so you can see we have the about us page and now if you want to get this get all books page then we have to switch book and get all books here you can see we have the text that we have written on the view all book list and we have one button which is click me although nothing will happen when you will click on this button but just for the concept this is how we can define all the actions on that particular view as you already know that you can download this entire code from the web rental github repository so for your task you have to download that code from github repository and then there are few action methods where i have not created the views you have to create the views for each one of them and simply try to run the application design this page use proper html tags to see how it is looking like and once you will add all the views into this application and everything will be working fine then you have to inform me in the comment section of this video that is all in this video thank you for watching have a great day